Once I understood some of this stuff, I'm telling you, it revolutionized my whole life. Now, self-interest is okay, yes, but here's what self-interest must be if you truly want to be happy. It must be enlightened. It says, don't keep your attention on yourself if you want your life to work out well. Turn your attention to others. In your own self-interest, be enlightened. Truly act in your own self-interest by making an investment in service to others. Next, if you wish to receive, now there's nothing wrong with wishing to receive, it's part of self-interest. But here's the enlightened part. If you wish to receive, you must give. Some people say, if you give, it's gone. No, no. Not if you're educated. If you're stupid, yes, it's gone. But if you're enlightened, chances are, if you give, you've invested. And what do we expect an investment to do? Return. Get back what you put out? No. We expect it to return multiplied. Bigger. Greater. Better. My father taught me way back. Son, always do more than what you get paid for. Now, some individuals might argue with that. They'd say, no, you're going to mess up the whole program. I know they're wrong. In my own self-interest, I did what my father taught me to always do more than I got paid for. Why? To make an investment in my future. Do more than you get paid for to make an investment in your future and it's paid off for me. If you're wanting that big promotion, are you going to go up to your boss and say, just give it to me? I'll work harder if you just give me that promotion. No, it doesn't work that way. You've got to do more in your current position so that you get noticed, so you stand out from everybody else. So the boss says, hey, we've got this position opening up and I think we should give it to Nancy. She does so much more than we expect. Just imagine what she'll do if we give her this promotion. You've got to do more than you're paid for. You've got to. It's an investment in your future. It's one thing to make a sale. I'm telling you, if you make a sale, you'll make a living. If you go beyond making the sale and serve people by keeping in touch, calling them before they call you, writing a thank you note, sales will lead to multiple sales. You can make a fortune if the customer is well taken care of. People who are well taken care of will open doors you can't get through by yourself. All of us have found ways to make a living. What got interesting for me early on was to figure out ways to make a fortune. You'd say, well, Mr. Roan, how would I deserve to make a fortune? It's easy. Render fortunes of service. People will do things you cannot believe for people who give them good service. Here's one of the greatest gifts you can give anybody, the gift of attention. In return, they will do extraordinary things for your career, take you by the hand and lead you to more people than you could meet by yourself. Always do more than you get paid for. Next, in enlightened self-interest, life responds to deserve, not need. Life responds to deserve, not need. Life was not designed to give us what we need. Life was designed to give us what we deserve. What we deserve. Once you understand that little life principle in your own self-interest, I'm telling you, it's life-changing. The ancient law does not go like this. If you need, you will reap. No, it doesn't work that way. A lot of people out there are hoping it works that way. But no, it doesn't. The ancient law goes like this. If you plant, you will reap. If you sow, you will reap. Somebody says, well, I really need to reap. Well, then you really need to plant in your own self-interest. Your own self-interest needs to be educated in how to plant, how to do it so everybody wins, because life doesn't respond to need. 
You can't go to the soil and say, I need a crop. The soil just smiles at you. And here's what the soil says. Don't bring me your need. Bring me some seed. Bring me some effort. Bring me some discipline. Bring me some interest. Bring me some service. Bring me these things and I'll return to you multiplied by two times, five times, ten times. You can't come with need. You've got to come with seed. You've got to come with willingness. You've got to come with skills. You've got to be willing to learn, willing to change, willing to grow, willing to put yourself out, willing to stand up to the bad weather, willing to pull out the weeds, willing to nurture. That's the only way you get a return. Once you understand these principles, Self-interest now truly becomes an exciting challenge, making sure everybody wins. Enlightened self-interest makes sure that everybody wins.